Welcome again to our lesson in physics. Uh, we are going to just remind ourselves a few things about pressure. Especially from one. This is very good stuff for you. Okay? Now, pressure here, we were defined is perpendicular force per unit area. Pressure is the force acting perpendicularly per unit area. There. That was the definition. Basically, it deals with the pressure in solids. Okay? Now, force is a product of mass and gravity. Okay? Because weight is a type of force. But not all forces are weight. So if I remove F using mg, I write mg over A. Okay, so F has been removed, Mg replacing it. Mass is a product of density and volume. So we remove mass, we write rho V. We drop G, divide by A. Volume is cross-section area times height. So remove V. We put AH. So, rho A, H, G divided by A. A and A cancel there. So, you have pressure is rho times H times G. But I like H rho G. H rho G. You may like this, no problem. So, this is what we tend to use in liquids. Because of height, density of liquid, and gravity. You know, you can only pressure something below. Eh? You, you can create pressure on something below. Eh? If I have my hand and this is a sack of maize. Okay? You cannot say my hand is pressing a sack of maize. It is a sack of maize that is pressing my hand. That's why we have height. That it is the liquid column above our given point is pressing upon that point. Now come to our diagram. You have liquid L2 in red up to that level. And then you have H1. Or since these tubes are open, they are open, so atmospheric pressure cancels atmospheric pressure. Because on both sides we would have atmospheric pressure pressing upon liquid blue and here, atmospheric pressure pressing upon liquid red, L2. But since both are open, it is of no effect to consider them. So, always check if there is a level that is given. Now, I've given you this level. Let us call this point A here and this point B for explanation. Since A and B are on the same level, their pressure are equal. So pressure A is equal to pressure B. And I want you to write them accordingly. Pressure A is on the left. Pressure B is on the right. Then substitute. Our pressure deals with height. So you write height on the left hand is 2. The density of this liquid I'm dealing with is multiplied by gravity. You don't need two. Gravity is the same. On the right hand side, I'm dealing with the liquid L1, whose height is H1. So I put H1, rho 1 times G. G and G is the same, irrespective of which units you're using here. Just cancel it. Just cancel it. Okay? Cancel it. But if you might want to maintain it, okay, I have no problem. Now we come down, we focus. Pressure A is equal to pressure B. Pressure B is on the right hand side. Pressure A is on the left hand side. So that you can pick the units and the letters accordingly. So H2 is what we are being asked. Density 2 we are given of liquid 2 is 0 0.8 grams per cubic centimeter. So automatically my height will be in cubic I mean in centimeter. 
H1 we are given as 8 centimeters and density 1, 1.8 gram per cubic centimeter. So I substitute, then compute. H2 is this divided by that. You can go ahead. How did I get that? 8 ones. 8, 0 0.1. So multiply both sides, uh, top by 10, bottom by 10, you get 18. Very good. Important, very important, very important. The knowledge, substitution, computation, accuracy. So we come here, we write, you always must write the knowledge or formula. Then you come here and do some substitution. Then you do some computation. And then you get the answer. This accuracy must be okay with you. Units. Units. You must write the correct units. Okay. We stop there, folks. This is just the beginning. I'll show you another pressure, another pressure, and then I move on. Bye-bye.